The world of AI and robotics is evolving faster than ever, and this week might just prove we've crossed into the sci-fi era. Meet Neo, a $20,000 humanoid you can actually pre-order to live and work inside your home. An AI wife clone so realistic her husband says he can't tell the difference. Researchers giving robots a moving tail to help them balance like animals. And even a jet-powered humanoid that literally takes flight. Hey guys, welcome to AI Nexus. This week we're diving into the most mind-blowing breakthroughs in robotics. Yeah, this isn't the future anymore. It's 2025, and the robots have officially arrived. Alright, let's start with this. You can pre-order a humanoid robot for your home. Meet Neo, the humanoid robot you can actually pre-order right now for $20,000. While Tesla keeps teasing Optimus, Norwegian company 1X, backed by OpenAI, just said, We're shipping this to your house. NEO stands roughly human height and uses AI to understand your space, speak naturally, and handle real household chores safely. It's the first true bridge between digital intelligence and the physical world. It has three modes that make it actually useful. In chores mode, you schedule tasks, watering plants, tidying rooms, loading the dishwasher, and NEO quietly gets them done. You can even open the NEO app and watch from its point of view in real time. Then there's AI companion mode. NEO doesn't just respond like a chatbot. It sees and hears the world around you. It remembers context, gives cooking advice, and interacts naturally. Finally, expert mode lets a remote human operator guide NEO through tricky tasks so it can learn faster and improve safely. Every supervised session becomes training data, helping future models gain full autonomy. NEO weighs about 66 pounds, moves on soft tendon-driven joints, and can lift 55 pounds. It's gentle, energy efficient, and wrapped in a soft, washable knit suit you can customize in three colors. Sure, it's not perfect. Loading a dishwasher might still take minutes. But remember, this is year one of consumer humanoid robots. Some actions need remote help, but every hour NEO works makes the next generation smarter. Would you trust a $20,000 humanoid robot roaming freely inside your house? Or is that crossing the line? Let's move on to the most mind-bending. News of the week. A man just created an AI clone of his wife, and he says you literally can't tell the difference between the real person and the digital copy. This isn't some tech demo or research project. It's about to go live online, where anyone can talk to her 24-7. Here's what happened. Alan Hamill, an 89-year-old Canadian TV host, just announced he built an AI twin of his late wife, Suzanne Summers. You might remember Suzanne from Three's Company or those Thighmaster infomercials. She passed away in October 2023, but Alan says their story isn't over because they planned this decades ago. He teamed up with two major companies, Hollow.ai for Suzanne's digital brain and Realbotics for the physical humanoid body. Together, they created Suzanne's clone, a hyper-realistic robot that looks, moves, and speaks like Suzanne. Her AI was trained on 27 of her books, hundreds of interviews, and every recording available, learning her tone, beliefs, and speech patterns. At a robotics demo, Alan sat beside the robot and asked if it remembered their first meeting. It smiled and said, meeting you was like a breath of fresh air. It recalled personal moments from their relationship, things only Suzanne would know. Alan said it felt strange for a few minutes, then suddenly real. It was like she was there again, he said. But this also raises huge ethical questions. Is this really Suzanne or just a convincing echo? Should people be digitally resurrected after death? Some call it beautiful, others find it disturbing. The Suzanne Summers A. Clone hit me differently. It's beautiful and eerie at the same time. Would you ever bring someone back like that? Now let's switch gears, because what I'm about to show you feels straight out of a sci-fi concert. Meet Ani. China's first humanoid pop star. Yeah, you heard that right. A robot singer that actually performs live. Built by Anywit Robotics, Annie is unlike anything China's ever produced. She's built on the Unitree G1 platform, but with a completely custom expressive head. Featuring 34 motion points, even more than a mecha, the famous British humanoid everyone calls the world's most expressive robot. 
Ani can smile, frown, move her eyes, and lip sync with shocking realism. Her face doesn't just move, it feels. She mirrors human emotion in real time, powered by iFlyTech's advanced AI voice system. Her tone, rhythm, and timing sound almost human. She made her debut in late 2024, performing live and starring in what Anywit calls the first music video ever sung by a robot. In one viral clip, Annie performs a Mandarin pop song, her expressions syncing perfectly to the lyrics, like she's feeling every note. But her true breakout moment came in October 2025 during a JD.com livestream. Popular singer Liu Yuning was performing when Ani rolled on stage beside him, introduced herself, and sang his hit song with him. When they finished, Liu laughed and said, She might have sung it better than me. That clip went viral across Chinese social media. Fans called it equal parts beautiful and unnerving. A robot not just mimicking art, but performing it. Any wit says their goal is to make robots emotionally engaging, not just useful, but charismatic. And with Annie, they might have just proven that robots can move us through art, not algorithms. Here's where things get absolutely insane. We're not just making robots walk better or balance smoother. We're making them waterproof enough for the deep sea. Heyman Tech, a Chinese robotics company, just revealed a humanoid robotic hand with an IP68 waterproof rating. That means it's completely sealed against dust and can operate fully submerged, even under crushing deep ocean pressure. Think about that for a second. Robots that can dive underwater and still perform delicate human-level tasks. We're talking underwater recovery missions, disaster response in flooded zones, marine construction, and even submerged manufacturing lines. The wild part? This robotic hand doesn't lose its finesse. It maintains precision grip, fine motor control, and multi-joint articulation, all while completely underwater. No short circuits, no corrosion, no loss in responsiveness. The engineering behind this is mind-blowing. Sealing, moving joints, sensors, and actuators while keeping everything flexible? That's one of robotics' hardest challenges. Most robot hands die the moment water seeps in. But Heyman Tech solved it using sealed actuation mechanics and hydrophobic sensor tech that keeps it fully functional even in extreme aquatic pressure. Early demos show the hand gliding underwater, picking up tools and delicate objects with almost human precision. Because this doesn't just mean waterproof robots. It means robots that can explore environments humans never could. This isn't a small upgrade. It's a whole new frontier for humanoid robotics. We've officially entered the era where robots sing, love, and even balance with tails. Which one blew your mind the most? NEO, the AI clone, or Annie, the pop star? Researchers have found something even crazier, and it might change how we think about robot movement forever. Researchers at Virginia Tech have just built something nature itself would be proud of. They call it the R3-RT robotic tail, and it's designed to attach to legged robots for dynamic stabilization. Think about how a cheetah uses its tail to twist mid-sprint, or how monkeys balance across branches. Virginia Tech basically said, why shouldn't robots do that too? The R3-RT's design uses three joints, one roll and two revolute, giving it that serpentine flexibility. When attached to a quadruped, the tail doesn't just hang there, it actively swings and adjusts, counterbalancing the robot's movement and offloading balance work from the legs. And when you thought this can't go more crazy, humanoid robots can now fly, a glimpse into the future where science fiction starts to look real. The Iron Man dream is not far off. Zhejiang University just showed off a jet-powered humanoid concept at a robotics conference. They strapped a 68-pound, 31-kilogram jetpack onto a robot frame, powered by five micro-turbines, and hit about 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour. Right now, human pilots are flying the robot while engineers collect data on how it moves and stays balanced. They're learning how its engines and wings work together to keep it stable, all to build a fully self-flying humanoid robot. The dream is to have a robot soar through the air without anyone controlling it. But at 100 meters high, even one small mistake could end badly. The engineering challenges are absolutely insane. You're dealing with 800 degrees Celsius exhaust, turbine lag, and supersonic gas speeds. But we actually see promise in this. 
Imagine using it to help rescue teams reach tough places, inspect tall buildings safely, or even protect people during emergencies. As Zhejiang's team collects data to improve flight control, they're discovering something new about stability and balance. That work naturally led them to a surprising next step. Instead of focusing on large flying robots, they're experimenting with smaller child-sized prototypes. These are easier to balance, safer to test, and perfect for early experiments. A robot flying at about 62 miles per hour with jet engines strapped to its back? Would you trust that thing flying over your city? Or is that a disaster waiting to happen? Comment below what you think. It's still very early research with no real products yet, but it's already inspiring jokes online. People imagining tiny jetpack robots delivering food to your door. It's funny, but also a little eerie when you realize how close this kind of future might be. That's where Lumos Robotics comes in with their new mini humanoid Lu Xiaoming. This little robot is genuinely charming. It's child-sized, about 86 centimeters tall and weighs around 33 pounds, 15 kilograms. Its playful blocky design makes it look friendly, not scary. But don't be fooled. Lumos Robotics, a young company from Shenzhen founded in late 2024, has already raised around $28 million to push this tech forward. The robot has 21 joints, which let it move smoothly and perform human-like motions such as walking, dancing, and waving. It can also talk and respond naturally to people. The robot can read your expressions or mood and change how it behaves to match. Lumos is even adding sensors so it can feel touch and hold things gently. And just when it feels like personal robots can't get any more exciting, another breakthrough takes the stage. Imagine recording yourself dancing on your phone, uploading the video, and within minutes, a robot copies your exact moves. No coding, no special suit, no tech degree needed. Just you, your phone, and a platform called LinkCraft. Agibot launched it on October 24th, and it honestly feels like robotics just became something anyone can play with, not just engineers. The company even says future updates will let robots move their fingers in detail, which is pretty mind-blowing when you think about how tricky hand motions are. Robots are no longer built by engineers. They're directed by you. Dance, act, speak, they copy your every move. The future of creation just got real. Subscribe and step into the era where you control the robots. But here's the wild part. Linkcraft isn't just about making robots move. It also lets them act. There's a feature called speech choreography where you upload text or audio and the system matches it with fitting gestures and facial expressions. You can even choose the robot's voice, male, female, happy, serious, whatever mood fits. It basically turns anyone into a robot director. You get simple timeline tools like video editing software, where you drag and drop actions, voices, and expressions to build a performance. You can even make several robots perform together with one click. AGIBot calls it robot storytelling built for things like stores, shows, and events. Now anyone can make a robot copy your dance or acting moves just from a video. If you had this tech, what's the first thing you'd make your robot do? Share your wildest idea in the comments. LinkCraft platform includes hundreds of preset moves and expressions and works with Agibot's X2 robot, which they plan to ship in huge numbers in 2025. The public beta is free right now, and Agibot clearly wants to build a new wave of robot creators. And while that platform is opening creative doors for everyday people, another company is shaking up the robotics world in a completely different way, with an unbeatable price tag. LAI Robotics just changed the game. This Shenzhen startup launched a dual-arm humanoid robot system for roughly $5,500. This robot has two arms, each with eight flexible joints, letting it move smoothly and handle tasks that need precision. It can lift up to about 26 pounds, 12 kilograms, without losing balance. The design is based on Japan's open source open arm system, which saved VLAI time and money since they didn't have to start from scratch. They added their own smart control system that helps the robot understand and copy human movements, making it great for hands-on experiments and teaching AI how to move like a person. In demo, the robot can even play the violin and hit badminton birdies. Pretty amazing for its size and price. For small labs and schools that can't afford expensive robotic systems, this is huge. It can connect with VR controls, 
work with AI tools, and fits easily on a regular desk. People in the robotics world are thrilled because getting a dual-arm robot for under $6,000 is almost unheard of. But while innovation races ahead in labs and classrooms, another frontier is opening up. Real factory floors. Humanoids are no longer just prototypes. They're starting to take on real jobs. Heyer's Chongqing Refrigerator Factory recently hired Shida, a humanoid robot from Siasun, as a factory intern. This isn't for show. Shida is doing actual production work alongside human employees. Its first task was applying oil to hinge brackets, using 2D and 3D vision to adjust to surfaces and control how much oil is used. That job once needed two shifts of human labor. Shida also works as a quality checker, spotting wrong materials, counting parts, and catching mistakes in the process. It even manages warehouse tasks by judging an item's weight and shape, choosing the right grip, and moving on its own for long hours without breaks. This is possible thanks to three smart systems. A vision language brain that understands spoken instructions, a motion control system that makes quick and smooth movements, and a body design with two strong arms on wheels that fits right into human workspaces. Shida marks an important shift from lab experiments to real industrial use. Robots are officially working in real factories now, doing human jobs. Is this the start of a robot takeover or just the future we've been waiting for? What do you think? Drop your thoughts below.